Here's the back of the connector on the third generation Tundra with the premium lighting. I'm not sure what the connector or the pin layout looks like on the non-premium lighting. However, you can see how thin those wires are. This is not your typical 12 volt you know, wiring system. It's all computer controlled. And I'll show you how the module that I got works with this kind of system. But this is what the premium lighting looks like. You get the sequential turn signals and you get those multi-beam uh, LED projector headlights. And these are really rock solid. I just want some better high beam performance and I want to be able to tie it into the diode dynamics light bars that I installed in the other video. So here's the CAN M8 module, okay? And it's connected to their contactless, essentially a wireless reader. So you feed the wiring, um, I believe you undo this, you feed the wiring right through it and you kind of close it. And then the wiring, this is able to measure, uh, I guess those signals that passes through the wiring. And it'll relay back to this module. Um, and this module is going to be connected to power, but it's also gonna have our output. So you got three wires to hook up essentially other than the trigger, which is the high beam wiring. And this will be connecting to the Diodynamics relay setup that I hooked up before. It's gonna be super straightforward on how to make this all work. All right, so I actually loosened up the headlight plug because it's kind of tied in with a little electrical tape on a white plug down here. And once I did that, I was able to just remove a little bit of the um, electrical tape to loosen up this this wire loom, essentially, to give yourself some extra space. You'll tape that up, but when you when you slice through that, just be very, very careful. It's gonna be a nightmare to repair any of these wires. They are just so thin, okay? But essentially, this uh, contactless reader, you put the purple wire up top and the white wire down below, and those are the two wires feeding into this corner right here, and that is going to give us our high beam uh, input. I'll tape this up in just a moment and I'll have some loom ready. And I'm going to put the module uh, up in this corner as far away from the possibility of getting any water or anything on it, because I don't know if it's waterproof or not. I see some people putting them inside the engine, uh, inside the cabin. It just seems overkill. Right now, I'll probably hide it uh, all the way deep down in that corner because I do need to access that white plug. Uh, that's where the wires are for the uh, trigger for the relay. All right, so here's that diode dynamics uh, relay wiring that's leading into the cabin. The beauty of this setup is it already has power. It already has ground. It's got constant power off the battery. And then the uh, other wire is a trigger. So essentially we have, we're simply tapping in the three wires that come from the module directly into this wiring harness. And that'll give us the extra function that we want out of our system. If you've never used a PosiTab before, I suggest you look into them and get a few for your arsenal of tools and accessories for wiring. It's a really great alternative to a scotch lock. It provides a really good bite. You can see the needle that essentially bites into the wire that you're trying to tap and then you feed the wire that you're using to tap into on the other side. And it goes right into that cylinder and then it locks it down. Okay. So if we're over here, I've already added three of the posi taps. Um, our white wire is going to be our constant 12 volt. The black wire is our ground and the center wire is our uh, trigger. So without even plugging this white connector back to the diode dynamics connector, okay, it's already all connected. I've started the vehicle, put the high beams on and guess what? We've got the function that we want, factory high beams, with the light bar. Okay. So now we've got the automatic switch working and essentially I can leave the lights in auto and not have to worry about the light bar turning on for maximum visibility. I live in the mountains and it's really good to get all the, you know, performance that you can when you're, uh, when you're able to, but I'll tidy this up, put some wire loom on, and tuck it all the way in the back there and I'll show you how it looks. I was just thinking about something. In hindsight, I guess I could have easily started and done this on the uh, other side, closer to the battery, but oh well. 
Uh, this is what it looks like loomed up. It is a little long. It can be kind of uh, zip tied to the side. I will do that in a second. Put a little double sided tape on the back of this module. And I've got the posi taps all set up. I'm gonna plug that back in, find a nice spot to mount that module and zip tie the wires off to the side. And you won't even notice this thing in a little bit. Okay, there was actually a little shroud over here on the side and I decided to tuck it away back there. That way it's covered and not exposed to the elements. And yeah, I'll show you how that looks in a moment. All right, so you can't even tell really anything was done. It's awesome. Again, if you want to do this from the passenger side, feed it right up into the relay. You can see that wire right there coming out of the bottom of the relay, the white, the blue, and the black. You can undo that loom sheath there. And um, yeah, you can tap into it right there as well. So either or will work, but this is gonna give us exactly what we want. And here we are, it's all finalized. Factory high beams on, it's on with the light bars. Still gotta get those color match mustache to complete the front end, some tires, but this thing is getting there really happy with everything and that's where we're at so hopefully this helps I mean this was a super easy mod I don't know how long it took but it felt like about a half hour 45 minutes tops to get this done after you install the wiring uh, for the dynamics light bar of course that is certainly a job to install all that but you can check the other video I'll post it down below on how to do that yourself and um, you can just add it on to the install the day of or simply do it another time with those modules okay but subscribe to the channel, let me know what you think. Quick little add-on to the video. Get a chance to see these uh, light bars in action. Obviously just on some local roads, but check out the SS6 as well. Those are really nice. So factory fogs turn off when the high beams are on. But the SS6 have a great spread. And you can see I've got my lights aimed very, very properly. Uh, it is lifted, so I did do a little bit of an adjustment. Still gets good range without blinding anybody. But you can see I've got full control with the headlight stock, which makes things easy and safe. And I can just leave it on auto. I notice sometimes the system doesn't fully change to auto as, uh, as uh, you know, auto hiding as quickly as I'd like it to. But using the factory stock is just way easier than finding a button. The button is in a factory location too, but it's just difficult to kind of locate. And you gotta look down, you gotta get your eyes off the road, get your hand off the steering wheel. This just makes a lot more sense. You could use this method to hook up the SS5 light bar. You could do it for the TRD Pro Grill light bar or the Stealth light bar. I've got the Stealth light bar the light bar and the TRD grill light bar hooked up on the same wiring harness. So essentially anytime the factory high beams come on, the light bars do as well. So we'll see the auto in action right now as a car is approaching. Let's see it turn off. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty awesome. Now if these lights had adaptive feature, that'd be even better, but Toyota really hasn't fully integrated that into, I think the LED lights. Um, it's interesting. I feel like a truck like this would be nice to have some, flat, you know, some adaptive LED lights, but it's all good. The aftermarket, we added these light bars and as you can see, they're awesome. I got nobody flashing me because my low beams are set up properly. So definitely happy camper here. Let me know your thoughts and thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel.